<clears throat> good morning, friends. Good afternoon or good evening, American friends and other friends. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Should continue painting some of this chapo today. And <clears throat> get a quiff navel gazer. And then maybe we shall start this horse man. Or this friend. Fuck you up. Bring it, motherfucker. <clears throat> I see a mold line I missed. Uh, <clears throat> so here is the, the latest update. On where the project is at. Come on, Dino. Sharpen up, son. Sharpen up. Let's go. Hey. There we go. So there's my castle wall so far. <clears throat> uh, I think I want to tweak the rocks to be a little more yellow. The rocks in the front doesn't make a lot of sense for those rocks to be grey. Get a shea razor when the sandstone walls are in fact sandstone looking. So I may, may we not even fuck spiders. We're getting this shit done. Don't you worry about that. It's getting done. Um, so yeah, something to think about anyway. It looks pretty good. Um, I do a few things slightly differently um, around the uh, the grout. I do that slightly differently. I'd probably uh, try and do a sealant. I would just use PVA, but I'd probably try and seal it with something else now because it's sort of reacting to the paint in a different way to what I'm used to, uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, uh, but yeah, just not something I'm accustomed to. So. That's possibly uh, the only changes I would make, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's going all right. Cat mm. necromancer. So yeah, we just got to make the models look good now, and the everything else. Yeah, we we can I can get Modge Podge here, yeah, so I might try that. Um, yeah. Anyway, good good experience. I've never really worked with foam in that capacity before, so or that type of foam. Well, that, that's not true. I have many, many, many years ago, back when I used to work for Games Workshop, we used that sort of stuff to build tables and what have you. Hey, Gregory. So yeah. <clears throat> It's progressing, it's progressing. We'll uh, continue chipping away uh, over the next probably month or so. And then we should be at a point where we can start to see the final vision coming together. 
and then we rush for the finish line. Uh, this cloak, yeah, it's not finished yet, but it should look okay. Uh, Sigismundo! Thanks, buddy. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the wall. Yes, so Galahad is indeed the other knight in the scene. Let me, first of all, here's the castle wall painted. For just new friends that are joining. And let me grab you the picture of what the scene looks like unpainted. And unfinished, evidently. Uh, hooked brush painter. Hello, mate. Um... Uh, at this stage, the colour that I've used is the Chimera Models Morning Sky. Uh, I think would probably be what I'd consider the mid-tone. This one. Morning Sky. Good. So, um, <clears throat> I really like... Uh, the placement of these two models, I feel like it's got good, good presence. Um, one thing you'll notice about Galahad is he really fills up a lot of the scene, and so he fills up a lot of the wall too, which means I don't need to worry as much about the wall, probably probably less than I think I do. Yes, the, the stones in front were indeed 3D printed, yes. So, I probably actually even want to tone the wall down at this stage. We're going to keep highlighting up first and then I'll then I'll bring it down. I've also got these little banners that I sculpted to hang from the walls um, of the castle. And I'm going to do like lots of hanging hanging vines and um, etc etc. So I'm going to do the mud and the and the foliage. I've got, the, the next step is to fit, well, finish all the painting on the castle. And then I'm going to add all sorts of little trees and these little plants. These plants are a good fit for this environment. These little ones. Uh, see what other assorted accoutrement I can put on there. So. Anyway. Still a fair way off finishing. So... Try not to look too much at the overall at this juncture and just really get into the, the hard work chipping away. Look, I really liked it, um, but I was chatting to Colwell and I was like, man, I don't know if I want to do a fucking another massive scene. Because I just, I see all those models and I think, how good would that be if you just banged them all together on a fucking plinth? That'd be mad. That's my problem now. Because I've literally already got Ultima Thule and the Hera Models Kickstarter, which also finished last night. Um, coming to me, but you know what? I did. I did tip in for four hundred and twenty euros for the uh, for the whole kit and caboodle on the early bird. We'll just see. I'm, I may. I may drop it. I may not want to do it, but I do like the models. Just it's a, f a fucking. <laughs> That's now three months on the hot when I've spent like close to a thousand Australian dollars on fucking Kickstarters, so it may just be a bit excessive. Did they? I didn't see that. Uh, well, I wasn't buying for the paints anyway. Fucking 
and enough of the paints. Global INGS, welcome. Welcome. You and Gavin would get on well, Shy Razor. <laughs> Wonder, I just got a message from my girlfriend. Little Hugo went for a walk this morning. He did a good job, it sounds like. shit out of luck if I end up doing the whole thing as a uh, as a diorama because I doubt I want to paint a second one after that we'll see though In Rasal, thank you, mate. Saturated. Makes a bit of this. Um, Hey, MK Finder. Welcome, mate. How's things? Has been a while.
Oh look, mate, it's uh, it's a small project that I'm uh, that I'm working on. Um, basically, I have put together a diorama that incorporates all twelve models from the Echoes of Camelot Kickstarter. Thank you, De Pixello. Hello, in motion. So. Uh, this is the first model of 12 that I'll be painting for said diorama. And if you'd like to see what said diorama looks like, I recently posted the video on my Instagram, so you can check it out there. But I will also put it on the screen for you in a second. Hello, Net Diver. Oh, I'm lucky, pal. Here is the video in question. Ha ha, <laughs> Alessandro. Hello. Aloha, Mora, to you, Alessandro. Concur with your assessment. Well, the plan is to do as much of them on stream as I can, but I can't make any promises that I'll do them all on stream. It's just a lot of work that I'm just going to keep chipping away at at my own pace. I'm not going to artificially slow myself down for the stream, so but yeah, there'll be certainly be a number of them on stream. I mean, I think I've done the majority of this guy on stream, so. Good. <clears throat> yeah, particularly for a project of this this sort of scale, I feel like it's important to make hay while the sun shines. If I'm excited, to just keep going. Immersive world crafter, I'm living the dream, mate. I'm living the dream. I still haven't seen it, mate. No, I'm, I'm, I've got to watch it. Got to remember to watch it. You're like the twelfth person that said, hey, "Have you seen that trailer yet?" So that must be must be up my alley. Oh, thanks mate, yes. Uh, fabric textures is one of the things I like painting. I like painting a lot of things. My favourite's rocks though. Rocks and skin tones, they're my favourite things to paint. I don't know why, because there's so many colours in rocks. So many colours.
Yeah, skin tones are awesome. Probably, probably when you uh, when you start out, skin tones feel very boring because you always use the same colours. But yeah, I like how much skin tones can change and uh, the, the the way to highlight the volumes and stuff just becomes a really interesting. thing to do, I feel. <clears throat> cool. Oh, MK Finder, I use a variety of paints, mate. At the moment, on, on my paint palette, I have a Chimera Black. I have a Vallejo Model Air Brown. I have a Vallejo Model Color German Yellow and Ivory. I have a AK 3rd Gen Orange and another Vallejo Model Color Air color called Wood. So, basically I just make shit up, mate, as I go along. Now I'm only painting the back insofar as you can see it from the angles of the, the uh, diorama. So I'm only painting enough because he's sort of standing on this angle. And the diorama twirls around and you'll see, see that and that, but you won't be able to see that bit. So I'm not going to paint that too much. But I'll give it some colour probably.
Uh, I mean, that's a, a pretty broad question, uh, but generally speaking, uh, what happens with light along a flat surface is it will run down the surface and hit at the bottom point, generally. So I would highlight the bottom parts of the blade. Hey, Rowie. <laughs> yes, yes, painting non metallic metal oh. can be a bit of a brain bender. But that's one of the reasons why I like painting it because it is just very challenging and uh, makes you think about what you're doing and so on. Get it done, son. Okay, yes, thank you, Motion. He is uh, got a pretty cool heraldry, got two crossed keys, or two keys, but we've got to figure out how we're going to incorporate those. Uh, I was thinking we may do. up here, just like a little cross keys there. Yeah, mad dog and mustache. Absolute mad dog. Um Aha, what are we singing, Mini MF? From Whitney Houston. To 
just trying to remember if I know any of the other bits. Oh, yeah, I do. If I should stay, I would only be in your way. So I'll go. Something like that. <laughs> but I know I'll be with you every step of your way. And I, I will always love you. I will always love you. Love you. I will always love you. <laughs> sorry, Wedge. <laughs> Fucking sorry. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I feel bad. You know, it's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm trying to sing that. That's a tough ask, friends. Thank you, mate. I'm sorry, I wonder how my neighbours feel about it, particularly this time in the morning. <laughs> sorry friends. You know, sometimes I crack and I'm metallic metal and I'm like, that looks fucking baller. Look how good this knee pad looks. It's fucking legit. And then I can't do shit sometimes elsewhere.
Uh, I, I am indeed, mate. Yeah, the Chimera. Well, I haven't used any on this this uh, this morning, but yeah, that's the, that's the colour I use for the armour. I got the paint sets on Monday. What day was it? Was it Monday? I don't remember what day it was, but yeah. It's a good colour. <laughs> it's very good colour. Yep, I've got the Kartachi set as well, using gold and brown from that one, should be gold. This is the funny thing, like, the Chimera basic set, I like, without using it all that often. But because they've just mixed colours that are specific colours that I like, I'm a huge fan of those sets, so... I'm just a lazy painter, I think. I just want things put on a platter for me, please. Yeah, I love them. Uh, I mean, I, I think they're they're probably the strongest uh, paint range out there in terms of the pigments. I find the colours just to be a little bit too fluid for for my liking. I like them to be a little bit thicker because of the way that I paint. I'm very much about speed, as I'm sure you know. And when you can work with thick colour, you can be a little bit less uh, precise with them. Uh, when you're using the thinner colours, you really have to land the precision. And, yeah, I'm not as good at that. I'm okay at it, but it's not really the way I like to paint. Hey, does Stroman? Uh, I'm 
not planning on, on pushing it in, in one direction. We'll just see how it comes out. Uh, I do I do like the androgyny of the sculpt though, so I'll probably try and retain that if possible. Yeah, I don't want to lean it any one particular way. Speaking of, we'll be starting that model soon. Because I'm going to put this guy down for a bit. Would I rate this as one of my top creations? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Are you talking specifically about this model or are you talking about my diorama in general? If you're talking about this model, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool. I like it a lot, but no, it's definitely not one of my top creations at this stage. No, in that case, I do not. Hey, Wampa. <laughs> I did finish it, yes. But no, look, I didn't, I didn't upload that to Putty and Paint, um, surprisingly. Didn't, uh, didn't feel like it was uh, worth throwing up there, mate. Sorry to say. Ah, oh, the Roosters, mate. They're a very good team. Very good team. Have been for a long, long time. Uh, yeah. We'll take our licks there. They are in it for about 60 minutes. So. Yeah, just didn't have the legs, but that's okay. This is the first year with a new coach at the helm, so. Rebuilding year the boys some time to develop into the new systems. And my girlfriend and I bought tickets to the uh, Women's State of Origin coming up in a few weeks. So that's exciting. We do need to talk about the colour palette for Galahad though. So, remembering the scene that we're trying to evoke, the uh, colours, we want it to feel very yellow and warm. Joe. 
We're not we're not quite there yet in terms of the color palette um, on the model, but you know that was just a starting. That was a starting uh, vision. Whether or not we end up there, uh, that's okay. Uh, it would have been nice to score a try before that. You're right, but. When you say his arms are red and white, are you talking about in the artwork? Or are you talking about historically speaking? Um, as in his coat of arms, gotcha. Uh, I think we could make that work. I think we can make that work. Phoenix! Hey mate! What's happening my friend? Let's give you a wee shout out. Raid! <clears throat> Hello Lupal! Hello Taria! Eight point star painting. Oh, Phoenix, it's a privilege and a pleasure as always to have you in my, in my stream. Um, morning, Rumble. What's going on? Friends, it's been, uh, it's been a little while since Phoenix and I have chatted, so he's probably painted a shield, you know, something like that in the last week. Uh, I've just been chipping away with this, mate. So, just a little something of what I can do. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you, mate. Uh, this is my big project that I've been working on. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I've started posting pictures of it on my Instagram if you want to follow along and you don't get a chance to get onto my stream often, but we're going to try and paint the majority of it on the, uh, on the old Twitches. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty progressed at the moment. Uh, we're going to start Galahad today, I think. I think. Well, you paint and finish. You finish. You finish my barbarian, did you? Beautiful.
Rumble. Yeah, blue, it has to be a dark blue. You can't just go straight into blue, black, and be like, yeah, this is fucking legit. It's too blue, you'll struggle. Fortunately, I haven't paid anything yet, so I don't have to get any money back. thing I've said many times, I might be fast, it doesn't make me good. People like Phoenix and Alessandro and Colwell just absolutely leave me for dead. And that's okay, because I'm not doing it to be better than those legends. I'm just doing it because I enjoy painting. <laughs> Cole's my friend, you fuckwits. Of course I'm going to mention him. Talk to him all the time. We basically talk daily. He thinks this project's fucking stupid. He's like, you're a fucking idiot, man. I said, yes, you're right, David, I am. Alright, so Kay sits down for a while, I think. Oh no, let's do the little cross keys, eh? Let's do some cross keys. So, I want to interpret each thing uh, a little bit myself. I don't necessarily want them to just be...
Looks like a pair of scissors. I'm very bad at small details. Night in motion. Phoenix is worried about, I'm sure I'm gonna love it. See you, Paulie. See you, Loopy. You're a legend. <laughs> All right, let's do a smidge airbrushing. Thanks, Welsh gamer guy. Ah, oh, thanks, Alison Elson. Just do a touch of little airbrushy bits, I think, just to make me feel better about myself as a human being and being a bad painter. I do not, no, I do not use the same camera. So I'm really bad at taking photos. Uh, the, the camera that I use for my photos is a Canon DLSR, DSLR thing. But I haven't cracked the code on it yet. Uh, the camera I use for streaming is a um, 
handy cam side. Hey, Paul, hey, Paul, hey, Paul. They released a new version of that on their, on, uh, their YouTube page, if you're interested in Evan Polka. I'm, I'm not very good. Like, I don't have the, I don't have the skills of Phoenix or Alessandro in terms of using a brush. But I fucking crush those guys when it comes to airbrushing, so... Reasonably happy with this for the moment. There's certainly a few things that need to be adjusted and tweaked, uh, but for the moment, I feel like this is a pretty good representation of the standard I want the piece. You know, I actually I haven't taken a photo since Lydia, but I think I'm, I might. After Lydia, I was looking at my phone. I was looking at my camera. And I found a set. You know what triggered me, triggered me to do it too. It was the fact that I'd found the white balance, the manual white balance on my on this fucking um, handy cam because I was tweaking around looking for the focus. So I found that, and all of a sudden I was like, "Holy shit! Maybe my camera has the same functionality." So it does, of course, because they mostly do. Uh, yeah, so I think I think my next photos that I take are actually going to potentially be really good. Um, we'll see anyway. Because I think I might have cracked it. All right. Let's. Matte varnish. I can do better than this, yes. So yeah, once I once I finish this scene, I might try and take some. I might even try taking some photos of this guy. I reckon, uh, yeah, I reckon I cracked it. I will see. Ooh. I have, I spoke about it earlier, Paul, but I'm happy to chat about it again, mate. I love it. I love it. I don't know if I want to invest in another crazy big Kickstarter fucking thing. So, but yeah, I love it. But I bought in anyway. Roger that, will do. Phoenix.
you're hearing from me, I doubt that very much. I don't think I can speak Chinese. I think the only thing I can say in Chinese is Shushe. Or something, how you pronounce it? Shushe, Shushe. That's how you say thank you. I think. My friend David Potts speaks Chinese though. Quite fluently. He taught English in China. Phoenix, I'm going to have a look now, mate. No. No one asked me if I'm Australian because it's so fucking obvious. They were like, oh, you're fucking Australian? I never say that. Because it's like, yeah, mate, no shit. That's... No, that's, that's, uh, that's Japanese, isn't it? Think how whole... That's hello in Japanese. Oh, look at this gloriousness, Phoenix. Look at this. Jolly good show, chap. Is it? Uh, Pat draws. That's not a gloss. It was a. Uh, it was a matte varnish. It's uh, this matte varnish, in fact, the AK Interactive Ultra Matte Varnish, um, and it dulls all of the colours, mats all the colours down, so I can then decide what else I want to do with the colours. Paint her or do we want to paint the horse? Let's paint the horse. She'll be more fun. That's okay, Pat. Welcome, mate. I'm gonna paint a horse. Okay, so the heraldry. The heraldry is. Uh, I thought I uh, saved that picture actually to my computer. Let me go and have a look. Uh, downloads. Maybe I didn't save it. Maybe I'm an idiot. Evidently, I did not save it. All right. I'll go back and look at the stream and find it another time. Let's just look up. Sir Galahad coat of arms. Stripey red and white. Yeah, cool. So, we'll do gold, red, and white. We just need to make sure it stands out from the, the rocks. So, let's make this bit white. Trim in red. This in steel with these little bits in gold. Yup, I think that will work a-okay. 
Yeah, that's a good question. What kind of horse? Uh, we'll make it like a Arabian, uh, you know, those yellowy ones with the with the black hooves. What are they called? Uh, can't remember the name of them, but they're they're a good colour horse. I like them. All right, so we're going to paint some white. Let's make the white really interesting. with the colors that we use for the white. Good on you, mate. Thanks for the raid. Have a great night. We'll chat about that model. I want it. You too, buddy. Well, obviously, you just had a good stream, so. So I think we'll definitely do some uh, some dirty uh, weathering effects on this guy, some some mud spatter, all that sort of stuff. When I'm painting white, I always think a lot about uh, the environmental colours. Because if, if you look up white in real life, it's one of the colours that really reflects the surroundings the most. Like generally, white is never pure white. It's always... Uh, just a reflection of the surrounding colours. So, when I start my white, I always like to think about the environment around it. The airbrush is such a great tool for, for doing white because you can just filter the colour really easily. So I've chosen this greeny, yellowy, brown sort of colour because that is uh, similar to the colour palette of the rest of the scene. It's not the same, it's close, not the same. Um, and I'm going to be able to airbrush tweak in more colours.
Tut, 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 tut. I don't think we'll go for a bright, intense red. I think we might go for more of a crimson colour. Uh, just so we've got a light, dark contrast between the two elements. Quiz! What can I sing for you today, my friend? <laughs> I would love to hit you with some mop. It's one of the greats, one of the all-time songs, isn't it, Mbop, by Hanson. <sighs> you know, there are days when I regret... singing Hanson in the car on the way back from, uh, from Casino the other week. You have so many relationships in this life, only one or two will last. You go through all the pain and strife, you turn your back and it's gone so fast. Oh yeah, and you're gone so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hold on to the ones who really care. When you get old and start losing your hair Something else about something else Can you tell me who will still care your hair? Can you tell me who will still care? Oh, whoa mm -bop -bop -ba -doo -wop. Do it up, ba do up da ba do Yeah, yeah mm -bop -bop -ba -doo -wop. Do it up I do up top I do In and um up the gone In and um up the not there In and um up the gone Hello Moops Thank you uh, thanks Wicketon yes I want you in my room. Let's spend the night together from now until forever. Boom, 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 boom. I wanna go, boom, boom. Let's spend the night together, together in my room. <laughs> Night Thor and Space Cow. Yes, we are doing some Britannians. Libertron, effectively. This is Sir Galahad. is coming and everybody's pumping new york and san francisco and in the city disco the wheels are still a turning My books, mate, that means you've arrived at the perfect time. Uh, Moopatron, this is uh, this is the other one I, I've just finished, well, I sort of finished this morning, this guy. It's okay, not to the round table. It's got a little bit more tweaking we need to do, but yeah, it's pretty good. Stands in front of a castle. 
Jamiroquai. <laughs> Virtual insanity. Yeah. Gaston. I'm incredibly good at expectorating. Oh, what a guy. Gaston. What is the name of that fucking horse, by the way? It's got a specific name. The Arabian ones, the ones that are like that yellowy brown with black hooves. It's a great question, Moops, and I think uh, I think we all know that the plot of uh, Big Deno the Musical um, would just be all about uh, the wonderful experience I had with my wife. <laughs> Nah, it's not a dun. I mean, that's the colour, probably, but... And the bounce back from that, mate. The glorious bounce back. I don't think that I do, Alessandro, no. Danny DeVito is probably a good shout, actually. It'd either be Danny DeVito or uh, Zach Galifianakis. Hangover Galifianakis, not current help Galifianakis. But he'd need to shave for the role. Well, no, look, Alessandro, my, uh, this, yes, long story short, I did get married, didn't work out all that well, and, uh, and now we're here. So I do have a girlfriend, she's a jet, we have a great time, we have a dog, did have a wife, wasn't that great, wouldn't recommend it, 10 out of 10.
<laughs> you you would probably be played by um, oh no this is bad why did you do that Dino nah Nicky Jaguar. Get up the Cowboys. Fucking. Okay, it's no shame to lose to the Roosters, mate. Can't wait for Tommy Turbo's hamstring to go again. I mean, we to drop back down to the bottom, hey? Thank you. Thank you, Joel Paul. Palomino, that is exactly what I was thinking of. Is that the colours, is it? Or is that a type of horse? Yes, good one, mate. Should be a good day. Should be a good day. <laughs> Millions of peaches. Peaches for me, millions of peaches, peaches for free. Peaches come from a can, they were put there by a man in a factory downtown. If I had my little way, I'd eat peaches every day. Nature's candy in my hand or can or pie. Dun, 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 dun. Millions of peaches, peaches for me, millions of peaches. Peaches for free. Yeah, run into the field, Lopez. That'd be awesome. Love for you to be arrested. Yeah, we are very lucky uh, here in Australia. You should do it. <laughs> promotion, mate. Brand promotion. Make sure you wear your long pants, all right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're really lucky in Australia. Everything feels almost back to normal. Got in an Uber last night. Went out for dinner last night. Got in an Uber. And the Uber thing says, you should wear a mask. I wasn't wearing a mask. And two was like, G'day mate. I said, how you going? I said, fucking good.
The Painted Dragon. Thank you for following. Uh, I don't recall, mate. Was it just a stupid video of Tommy Turbo's celebration or something? Because if it was, I don't remember getting it. Oh look, I definitely think down on ice is a strong possibility. I'm a noted ice skater. So, very strong possibility. There is actually pictures of me ice skating, floating around the internet. Just lucky that I didn't sever my arteries when putting them on. When we're playing Gloomhaven next Meepers. We're playing tonight with Whaley. Is Whaley back on for tonight? Oh yeah, how many scenarios are you up to now, Freezy? Yeah. Sixty fucking bucks, eh? What a stitch up. Oops, he's leaning hard into his um, Deno is a musical uh, narrative today, isn't he? You're bored, mate. Trying to avoid packing up your house or something.
Mm, I enjoy it. I enjoy Plotsy style narrative. Probably not enough sex stories for the Plotsy though. Not enough inappropriate red light district visits. You know how it is. If you aren't David. Sable brush. Uh, yeah. I can, uh, I'll have to go and grab some lunch. But yeah, probably like 12 ish. A couple of hours. If that suits. I really want to do mud spatter, but I shouldn't do it yet. I should wait until the rest of it's done. Because I could do some mud spatter now and some mud spatter later. That doesn't make any sense. I should be patient. Yeah, there's a fucking the black unicorn level nine card. I'd like to get that. I've never played with the unicorn in the game. I actually, I actually think the the unicorn summon is not as good as the bottom of that card, if I remember rightly. Yeah, that, uh, maybe there's another summon at level 8 or something. There's definitely one I haven't summoned yet, or may not have chosen to take yet, with her.
Alright. No, I didn't see it. I, I, I went out for dinner last night, man. I didn't actually get to watch any of the game. I'm looking forward to a day of games watching today, so that's cool. Good shot, was it? Yeah, I will. <laughs> I love the big shots. This is a, this is a fucking awesome model, by the way. In my head, I was like, I'm going to leave this one till, till later on in the piece because it should be fun to paint, but it'll also be pretty exhausting. But I decided to take a different tack because this was the scene I finished first, and I was like, you know what, fuck it. Let's get this big fella out of the way. At the moment, the scene I'm thinking is going to be the hardest is the crypt. The crypt or the forest. The forest because there's a lot of extraneous detail that will need to be filled, but not detract from the main scene. Uh, but the crypt, the crypt is in a similar boat. Um, the lighting effects in both of those will probably be tricky too because I've got lighting across both. Um, it's, yeah, it's, they do take a long time. Um, yeah, so I've got, I've got magic. I'm going to start sculpting some magical energies coming from Merlin and Morgana soon. So they're having a magical duel. I was gonna do. I was gonna do these elements in gold, but gold almost doesn't feel right for Galahad, does it? In a way. That he's the goodest boy. Oh, I was just going to do gold trim, but uh, yeah, I'm sort of starting to feel like that may not be the go. Doing everything in steel. Hmm, shall I think about it?
Well, one of the advantages of making him dirty is the stable boy doesn't have to polish it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really want to uh, paint the, like I, I want to paint on the tape metal mate, that's part of the fun of these models for me, is there's just so much cool armour and plates and stuff and being able to muck around with those seems super fun, so I shan't be painting over the pedal brick elements over the top of the steel. Yeah. Iron shoe. Uh, the traditional method uh, is you dress the model. So you imagine painting the skin tone first and then you do next elements. That's a traditional way of painting. Uh, in some instances I will swing a little differently because I want to paint elements. So in this instance I'm not doing the horse colour because there's not a lot of horse anyway so that'll be easy to do. But yeah.
Sorry if this is a uh, boring time, friends, but I'm just fucking really enjoying painting this horse. So I think the next scene I'm going to paint is going to be Lady of the Lake and Uther Pendragon. So I have commenced preparation for undercoating that scene. It should be good. So I have no idea how I'm going to do the water elements on Lady of the Lake. We'll figure it out. Hopefully. Uh, that was a just sort of process of elimination thing, actually, because um, I started with thinking about uh, the Green Knight, Merlin, and Morgana, um, and then King Arthur and Percival versus Mordred, uh, because of the fact they were both holding torch-like things. And Mordred was the obvious opposition for Arthur. Um, and then initially it was going to be Galahad just by himself riding out. Um, but I felt like Sir Kay looked better uh, on that scene with Sir Galahad. He was initially going to be in the Arthur scene as well. Hey Plank. Uh, yeah, so it was just sort of by that stage, well, I had cool. So I got Lancelot, Uther, the Lady of the Lake, and um, Guinevere left. The obvious pairing there is Guinevere and Lancelot. So that left those two. And although, and I think that's the, the one scene that doesn't actually make any sense in terms of those two never met. So 
models look good. Uh, the bits where the black's still showing through, they're gonna they're gonna be the shadows and the armor. Cobra Snake, thank you for following. See why I haven't seen too many other painted versions of this model out there yet. It's a fucking ex expansive model. Lots of elements. Scarecrow, thank you for following. I'll try and uh, try and progress this a little bit here, so you can see hopefully what it's going to look like. Well, it's going to look similar to what Sakai's armor looks like, but the reason I did the white first is it's important to see how the white fabric looks alongside this metal, the metal needs to look like a different surface. And that's a, a matter of even though we're using similar colours, in some cases exactly the same colours, they need to feel like different elements and the way you do that is through highlighting the intensity of the highlight.
So it doesn't look much chopped just yet, but hopefully after I do a little bit of airbrushing, it should start to come together. G'day Dominican and Dodo, Dominican Dodo, g'day mate. So the real challenge here with the airbrushing is to not get it on the work I've already done, but it will still be okay if I do. Oops, sorry. As the what? I don't know 
you talking about, Mopsy Gibbera? then I'll go back in and add some shadows Did you go over there, Moops? Did you go to the Dominican Republic? G'day, the original poor mum. Yeah. Thought you did. What can I sing for you, Gregory? <laughs> I said, maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder wall. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. And all the roads we have to walk are winding. And all the lights that lead the way are blinding. There are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. Cause maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. And after all. You're my wonder boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Ah, you're a bad liar. But thank you. Thank you for that. Gregory. <laughs> uh, 
Thanks, Abata. Yes, people spend points to make me sing, and it's awful. Like that song, though. I don't believe anybody feels the way I do about you now. All right, so that's what it should look like, roughly, in the end. With some work to go, but yeah. So that's roughly the process. So let us proceed with the rest of the elements to that. <laughs> Far from perfect, mate. Far from perfect. The word is on the street that the fire in your heart is out. I'm sure you've heard it all before, but you never really had a doubt. <laughs> nah mate there's things I'm good at and I'm a tight metal is not one of them I'm, I'm working hard to get better at it I think recent stuff has been good without being great if you want to see real non metallic metal mate go check out Land Studio Kirill Knave Mark Masklin's. Those are the guys I measure myself against. You fucking take a compliment, you fuck. I don't have to fucking do shit. It's my stream. I do what I want. Hmm. I'm looking at you, James. I will fuck you up. Winding. Yeah, that's true, Gregory. That is true. Mostly because I've painted a lot more than most of the other painters in the top 20. A lot more models. And the system works on quantity of votes, not 
it works, it's a combination of quantity plus quality. So, because I've got lots of votes higher up. You gotta, you gotta continue to aspire to reach new heights, mate. The moment you stop learning, might as well be fucking dead. You just want 10 votes for something, do you, mate? Is that all? Is that all you want? Don't care what rank it is. I've been doing display painting for five years, right? This sort of stuff, this sort of painting for five years. And I think I've painted probably every day in that time. And I reckon that has been the main driving factor in me improving very quickly. But I reckon anyone with enough dedication could easily overtake me. I reckon Benny's going to overtake me at some point soon. He's already doing stuff better than me. I can hope he's not on the stream, the dickhead. That's fucking 10 at 11 o'clock on a Monday, on a Sunday, mate. He's probably not even out of bed yet. Yeah, I started painting uh, Games Workshop models when I was a little tucker. So, I mean, if you count that, yeah, absolutely, I've been painting for 27 odd years. Did he just hide the paint over it? Dumb fuck. Is this for Underworld's Mood Patron? Or is it men's, is it? Yeah. Cool. I like them. I haven't played a game of Vampires yet from Underworld's. I'd like to. Still there, Freezy, we should have a game on Tuesday.
Bum, 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 We have to walk a winding All the lights that lead us there are blinding Hello Miss Half Damage, how are you? There are many things that I would like to say to you But I don't know how Ah, pun expected! Thank you for the raid Let's do a quick shout out for you my friend Boo. Uh, here's what I did for the most of the night. Well, sort of some of the night, this guy. So, man, those keys are really shit out, so I've got to fix them up. Anyway, we shall. Uh, so yes, that's uh, that's the first model of my diorama. Almost finished. Yes, it is a nice model. It's in a tiny tusk. And we're doing this horseman now. Which is going to take a while, I think. What did you get up to on your stream? I believe it's Ryan, isn't it? Ryan, is that right? Ryan, what did you get up to, mate? Time to make me look better than I am. Yeah. Miss Trader. Fuck you, Trundle on some weird hours, Miss Jane. I tell you what. By my reckoning, it's about two a.m. in the UK right now, or thereabouts. Boxed up Lydia, she's ready to go. I'm gonna send her off tomorrow.
You got it, Gregory. The whole scene, we're giving it away. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about next month's giveaway. It's either giveaway vampires or something else. Um, or I might just fucking not do a giveaway next month because I'm painting my fucking diorama. And I don't care about my subscribers, so. That's entirely accurate, mate. I've met many people who do not think I am much chop as a human being. And James Morehouse is one of them. Boom, boom. Yeah, Ben does love his subscribers. That's absolutely a fact. He's got three of them, mate. One of them's his mum. Ah, oh, Gregory, what a top chap you are. Good for you, buddy. Well, it's 11 o'clock, and I'll be heading off soon. Oh, one part, yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty solidly uh, progressed. I'm not going to call him finished yet, because he's... Um, got a few elements I don't want to f improve, like I think his face could do with a little bit more work. These cross keys need to make them a little bit less shit house. Um, looking at it now, I need to just give him a little... stuff like that. Yep, he's going okay. Um, so yeah, so we got started on uh, the horsey. So nothing makes, nothing, oh, thank you airbrush. Nothing makes a lot of sense right now um, with this, uh, where is German? Camo black brown. Where is it? Yep, 
Yeah, nothing makes a lot of sense on this model right now because all of the colours are still um, like look like they're filtered together. There's no separation. So I'm actually just going to do uh, some brown bits of leather. That will help with the visual thing. Or do you reckon that thing should be metal as well? Hmm. I'll need to ponder over that. Maybe that should be metal. Does it look like a metal thing? No, it sort of looks more like leather. I don't know. In my head I was thinking it was leather, but now that I look at it, it may be better to have done in metal. He's right there, Wampa. Look at him go. Yeah, what a good boy. I think it's going to have to be done as an armor plate. Uh, no, I did not decide against the sarcophagus. There it is. Still not 100% certain on the position of Arthur and Percival in relation to uh, the model, but I'll 
figure it out. Oh, well done. Well done, Shay Razor. Get amongst it. Give it a red hood go. Uh, cool, Tiamat. That'll be fun. Tiamat. Ah, oh, thank you, Miss Half Damage. That's amazing. Well, this month's giveaway is... Uh, some wood elves from Warhammer Underworld so I hope you win them <laughs> is, it, is it the one from uh, I think I've seen there's not many Tiamat minis out there really, so... Strong possibility that I've seen the model. Alright friends, I am starting to get hungry. That's never a good sign for the big man. Don't operate well on a hungry stomach. So I am going to trundle off and uh, get some lunch and then uh, I'll play some Gloomhaven with my friend Moopsy. And uh, this afternoon I'm probably going to continue painting my horse. So uh, let's find a friendo we can raid. And uh, yeah. It's been a fun stream this morning, team. I'm, I'm excited for how my project's going. Hope you can feel my excitement in my voice as I'm talking about it. I think getting, getting this first scene locked away and finished is going to help my uh, mindset immeasurably yeah good work good work today good work all right let's find someone to raid shall we Wapetlius already. Who else have we got? It's a dude sculpting some stuff. Cool. Have a look at that. Shorty Paint Studios. What are you painting, mate? I I would I would bet money that they had lost at least thirty five percent of their sales. You're all superstars. Let's go raid this guy. He's named Shorty more. Paint Studios. He seems like an interesting chap. You're all legends. Um, Tomorrow night, party Monday. Like you're gonna need we'll keep painting this, this guy. Pandemic's over I'll see you all then, friends. Some point. Have a great day. It's not going to last forever. It's not going to. 
eventually our our bodies are going to have an antibody to the point where it won't have anyone to jump to. Oh my god, what am I just... Do I have like a sign up? Maybe I should make a sign. I should make a sign. Hold on. <laughs> I have a red magnet.